Hello Charles Darwin speaking. A person's friendships are one of the most important measures of their worth. He who dares to waste an hour has not yet discovered the value of life. Since my early youth, I have had a strong desire to understand or explain everything I have observed, to group all the facts under some general law. The question of whether there is a creator and ruler of the universe, has been answered positively, by some of the highest minds that ever existed. A republic can only succeed, if it includes a certain group of men, imbued with principles of justice and honor. A fair result can only be obtained, by fully stating and balancing the facts, and arguments on both sides of each question. Each new set of discoveries is mathematical in its own form, because there are no other guidelines, that we can obtain. A mathematician is a blind man in a dark room, looking for a black cat that does not exist. When we are completely alone, how often do we think with pleasure or pain, of what others think of us, in their approval or disapproval? Even people who are not geniuses, can outperform the rest of humanity, if they develop certain habits of thinking. Anyone who is led by his tendency, to place more value on unjustified difficulties than on the interpretation of facts, will surely reject my theory. The most important factor in survival is neither intelligence nor strength, but the ability to adapt. A creative person is a person who is able to reflect on his past actions and motives, accepting some and rejecting others. The best way to promote freedom of thought, is the gradual illumination of men's minds, which comes from the progress of science. The highest possible stage in moral culture, is when we realize that we must control our thoughts. When overwhelmed with sadness, a person should not be negative because he loses his best chance of regaining the flexibility of his mind. Just imagine yourself a cute wife on a sofa with a good fire, books and music. It's easy to hide our ignorance under phrases like plan. A scientific man should have no desires or passions, just a heart of stone. Nothing could be better than a trip in a far country.